Explosives hidden inside a toothpaste tube can be powerful and potentially deadly. This bomb in a toothpaste container blew off a car door, sent parts of it across the quarry in southwestern England, where CNN commissioned this test with the help of Sidney Alford, an expert who helps first responders understand explosives. What kind of damage could this bomb do? I wouldn't like to be in an airplane in which that exploded, not even a big one. For this test, Alford used an explosive called RDX, a white crystalline powder. He mixed it with another ingredient to create a paste. In this container, he filled about three quarters with his explosive concoction, the rest with toothpaste. It smells and tastes like toothpaste. I have presented this in such a way that somebody giving it a casual inspection will probably pass it. The size of container Alford used is the kind you have to place in checked baggage. But Alford says two smaller containers this size, which you can carry on, can also be used. Those tubes have to be attached or placed near each other to create a similar explosion. They can be detonated by a heat source. Bombs that were successfully smuggled aboard U.S.-bound airliners in recent years show just how real the threat can be. This is what prosecutors say the 2009 underwear bomb would have looked like if it had gone off. Umar Farouk Abdulmutallab had snuck it onto his flight, landing in Detroit in 2009 by concealing it in his pants. And this is one of two printer bombs that were found before they exploded aboard cargo planes bound for the U.S. In a reconstruction for CNN, this is what Alfred said one of those printer bombs could have done. If that had been uh, part of an airplane's uh, fuselage, then uh, heaven help the airplane. It would have, that would have been a terminal event, I'm afraid. Alfred's demonstrations, then and now, used two different types of explosives, which had similar effects. A toothpaste bomb has brought down a plane before. In October 1976, anti-Castro Cuban operatives hid explosives in a tube of Colgate and brought down a Cubana Airlines flight over the Caribbean. More than 70 people.